Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? Reflection We normally wish that all things would go smoothly according to plan. Imagine how convenient life would be if everything turns out as we hope they will. However, life has a way of shaking things up. The boat we are in, much like the boat of Jesus and the disciples, is rocked by tempest. Often we find our faith shaken. Jesus' seeming indifference translates to an off-heard question. Does God sleep through while we are beset by the storm? Jesus' rebuke of the winds and the sea is a clear demonstration of divine power. Like the Lord God, He can command the forces of nature. Why should we be disturbed when we know that Jesus is with us? He who has power over the terrible and tremendous forces in the universe. We should ask Jesus to calm the turmoil in our hearts when problems and crises arise. Let us heed St. Teresa of Avila who said, Let nothing disturb you. God alone suffices. My prayer, dear Lord, let me dwell for a moment in your life presence, in my body, my mind, and my heart, and in the whole of my life. Instill in my heart a desire to know and love you more each day.